Hey friends, welcome today. We're so glad you joined us. Let's sing, let's praise God. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset. His love is still forgiving me. And it's all because, all because. His love isn't just a little bit. He loves me a whole lot.
Well, hey friends, so excited to be with you this morning. And I've got a little experiment that we're gonna do to help illustrate the point that I'm gonna try to make today. So first I have this bottle of pop right here. And if you listen carefully, yeah, I opened it and there really wasn't any fizz. Friends, without God in our lives, our lives can become kind of flat, kind of stale, kind of yucky, not very exciting and kind of gross and not really much good for anything. But check this out. We're going to look in the book of Colossians today, a passage where Paul and Timothy are writing a letter to a church named Colossae. Kind of cool. So we call it the book of Colossians. They're trying to encourage the believers there to follow God and to serve him even better. So when we add God to our lives, friends, something neat can happen. Check this out. In verse six, it says, the same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It's bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the first from the day you first heard and understood the truth of God's grace. So having God in our lives, friends, changes us. The Bible says it helps us bear fruit. What does that mean? Are you a tree, like an apple tree or something? Not exactly. It helps us bear fruit of the Spirit. Things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what should happen when we have God in our lives. And it's pretty cool when we have God in our lives. Let's try a little experiment. I'm gonna put these in my pocket just for now, but let's open this fresh bottle. Listen to this. Ooh, this is gonna be good. All right, let's see what happens when we add a little bit of God into our lives. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Wow! That was super cool. Our lives are different. It's changed. Things happen to us that we can't always explain. But when God's working in our life, cool things can happen. All right. So people should see things coming out of our lives. Again, we talked about like love and joy and peace and kindness. In the passage in Colossians, going on to verse 9 and 10, it says this. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will honor and please the Lord and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. There it is again, good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. Friends, it's our church's prayer, it's my prayer, it's your small group leader's prayer that you grow closer to God and that you will continue to grow closer to him your whole entire life and that your actions and your behaviors because of God in your life produce good fruit. Again, things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So as we grow closer and closer to God, our lives start to look more different. Let me do another demonstration. That was pretty different, right friends? I don't know about you, but I think that's even better. Whoa, it's still going. Check that out. That's pretty cool. The passage goes on in verse 11. It says, We also pray that you will be strengthened with his glorious power so that you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son who purchased our freedom and forgave us our sins. Friends, that's pretty amazing stuff. God wants you and me to share his good news. And because the good news is that he has rescued us and that he wants to rescue everyone, 
So not just us, he wants to rescue everyone because Jesus died and paid for our sins, paid the penalty, and he rose again. We have freedom. We can be filled with joy because our sins are forgiven. And we should want to share that joy with everyone we meet. Let's do one more, shall we? Wouldn't that be great? All right, check this out. Friends, when the candy and pop react in this experiment, something amazing happened. The foam overflows, it shoots out everywhere because the bottle can no longer contain it. When we grow in our faith in God, the same thing happens with us. God fills us with his spirit and his spirit overflows from our hearts. We share the faith we have with other people in words and actions because we just can't contain it anymore. God is worth sharing. Jesus is worth sharing. And one of the best things we can do is share God with our family and friends so they can have faith in Jesus too. So friends, I hope your lives are overflowing with God and sharing God with others. So for our respond time today, while this song is playing, talk to God. Ask him who in your life needs to know him. Who needs to know the good news of Jesus? And then ask God to help you share his love with that person that comes to your mind, with your words and with your actions. Please hold out your hands for our blessing today, okay? And it comes from verses 11 and 12 from our passage. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in his inheritance that belongs to his people and who live in his light. Thanks, friends. Have a great week.